So one of the questions I get quite often lately is, do BBC broadcasters call you on night threat? Because you know there is this belief that BBC broadcasting has very big qualifications, so they would never have to actually call someone who is on night threat for femdom or for humiliation or for anything else, right? So, and if they call you, what do they want? And if they don't call you, then who calls you? Do you have any black guys calling you? Would you date black guys? What do you think about black guys? Why don't you talk about black guys on YouTube? That I had some complaints from black guys who told me that we are not represented on your channel at all. You have been going on and on and on about Asian guys for years, mainly to complain. You have been talking and featuring white guys and nothing about us. And you're right, we are not racist here. Everyone deserves representation. So I'm going to tell you my honest experience and opinion. I have to remind you that everything I say in this channel is just my opinion with the occasional satire and there is no hatred towards anyone, okay? The point is to promote meaningful discussion, so please stay sane in the comments as much as you can. So I know plenty of BBC guys who are into the 11 inches, 12 inches monster sphere, but they're not from Life, Night Flight. They are mainly from another platform called Many Beats, and they're usually content creators just like me. And I have to say that most of them are great people because there are features on Many Beats, such as ReMV, which is like retweet. That if someone re -MVs your stuff and you re -MV theirs, you get visi gain visibility and followers. And overall, they have been very polite to me, very sexy. They leave positive comments, they flirt with me. So yeah, I know plenty of them, but they are not interested in fandom. Most of them do creators, like do content, like mainly the black man, white woman thing, or black man, Asian woman thing, or things like that, which is more mainstream like adult stuff so we don't really overlap so that's one question that is answered yes i have talked to them i do talk to them i know plenty of them but they are not into femdom or humiliation or if they are into something very niche for example white gets feet no one contacted me so far if they do i'm going to let you know i'm going to come back to report it here now that doesn't mean that no one who is black ever contacts me i have many on night flag, some on OnlyFans, some on other platforms, and do they have micro, you know what? No. Usually the problem with this category of person is because of the BBC News stereotype, they tell me that every woman who wants to get together with them, especially the white women, expect to see at least 9 to 10 inches. So if you're a completely normal guy and you have 6 to 7 inches and you're black, they said that they have been met with negative reactions that oh my god it's not big enough we expected the bbc news of course that's crazy i mean you know that adult content is not a representation of reality and that not everyone who is black has bbc news and you can have great fun with something that is seven inches it doesn't have to be a 13 inch monster but many of them told me that they had very low self-confidence so they used adult platforms like night flat and to be honest most of the time they don't really want femdom either it's either that they recognize me from youtube and they want to have a talk or a chat or that they want more mainstream stuff you interpret mainstream as you want i think if we have all watched adult media you know what i mean now i'm going to say something about uh, them that really bothers me and I, I tell people to their face so i think it's something that it's good enough to discuss here okay the first question that is a million dollar question for many people is would you date a black guy absolutely race never stopped me it's not going to stop me now i would also date a half black or a mixed guy because they also contact me a lot because of my less than fortunate involvement with specific mixed people that they're now luckily for everyone irrelevant so you don't have to worry about that of course i'm not dating anyone online right now i am with someone in real life but if i was ever single and I wanted to date someone and there was a black guy that was interested, I would definitely give it a shot. Something that would be a deal breaker. People say, you are a hypocrite because you talk a lot, you have talked a lot about white men fetishizing Asian women or about white women fetishizing Korean men because of K-pop, but what about black men fetishizing white women? You wouldn't have a problem with that. There is a difference between preference and fetish. 
it's different to say I find white women attractive as a black man and I would be interested in trying to date one, which is a preference. And it's a completely different thing to tell me, I just want a white girl, I just want a snow bunny, and anyone who is white will do. No. No matter who it is, no matter who the race is who approaches me, approaches me with this mindset that anyone who, was, who is white will do, and you're white, so you will do, I think you should consider some mental help because this is wrong and this is bad. This is objectification in a level that I'm not referring to the objectification that hardcore feminists talk about. It's dehumanizing. And also it's bad for you because when you say anyone who is a white woman will do, what if she's an extremely psycho white woman? What if she murders you in your sleep? What if you have nothing in common? What if she exploits you? What if she marries you and you have kids and then she divorces you and ruins your, your life? Like, don't be like that. You need to have standards. I understand that we can all cross into fantasization fields if we're not careful, but I would like to think that with some self-reflection, we can be fine. So to answer your question, I would date a normal person who knows me and appreciates me and not just like specific characteristics about me, but I wouldn't be interested in someone who just is like, it's white, white it will do. No. Go buy a white, very advanced sex doll or sex robot. I look into these things and there are some amazing ones, much prettier than me, and get off. Another thing that is an absolute deal breaker when it comes to black men is black men who contact me and constantly put down black women. Like, it's like they say, someone wants to compliment you about something, and it's not a compliment, it has attached some insult about a black lady. It says, you know, you're thin, unlike every black woman that I know who's so fat. Or, you're nice to me, you talk to me on the phone and you're nice, and every black woman I have in my family is bashing me. Like, bashing the women of your own race and actually even repeating racist stereotypes to me, it's... I'm going to be honest here, repulsive. I understand that you may have negative experience with specific women, but th this is not the way to go. And also, I understand if someone tells me I'm black and my mother was the problem, my sister was the problem, my ex was the problem, but if the entire like black women population is against you, I'm sorry, something is wrong with you. This is an extreme racist uh, like generalization that all black women are the problem. And also, what... What do you hope to achieve by doing that? Make me feel better by putting other people down? First of all, I know plenty of black women who are also content creators and they are amazing people. I know them from Reddit. I know them from the other social media. So my experience is not necessarily your experience. I know some that I don't like, but that's with every race. So I know plenty of good ones. I don't know why you didn't meet them when you talk shit about them. Second, I don't have such insecurity that I need you to nag other women and to put them down to make me feel better. And third, what these men don't realize that it's really amazing is, you say I want to marry a white woman, I want to have kids with a white woman, I like you so much, I want to date you, help me find a white woman to date, all of that stuff. Okay, let's say I date you, or let's say I find a white woman who wants you. How is her life going to be? Your mom is going to hate her, your sister is going to hate her, your friends, black girlfriends are going to hate her. Because you have terrible relationships with all of them. So why would I do this to myself? I've done it one time with a Korean family. You think I'm going to go a second round to have another round of these problems? Yeah, no. So if you have any kind of trauma because of something that a black woman in your life did to you, the right way to go is first resolve it with a mental health professional. It's not the same at all. Then learn the red flags because if you constantly attract crazy black women, there is possibly some repetition compulsion in your past. There is probably some unresolved trauma and you attract all the psychos. So if you work on resolving this, because trust me, it can be resolved. I've resolved things like that for myself. It takes work. I had to go to psychiatrists in the past, but it can get better. And once you learn to attract more normal people, then you are ready to date and go for any white woman you want. And that applies to any race. I say it for the black guys because I see it more often. Korean guys also do that a lot. Oh, you are not like Asian girls. Oh, they're so skinny. Oh, they don't have boobs. Oh, they're so materialistic. You are not. And it's so funny because they're actually paying me to talk to them. So someone would say, oh my God, this is so materialistic. So I'm just going to let you know that it makes a terrible impression. And I see it from the black guys more than any other race of guys. It's black guys first and then it's Asian guys bashing Asian women. Like I said, your trauma is legit, your problems are legit, but this is not the way to solve them. And that's also the way to change society, starting from ourselves.
And I know that I'm going to be a bit politically incorrect here and some people are not going to like it. A lot of the concerns black women have are not like crazy. Because I know black women who had black men walking out on them when they had children and a lot of people romanticize sex work but plenty of these women got into it because they were stranded for money to feed their children. So for me, I have respect for someone who does what they need to do to feed their children and I don't have respect for deadbeat dads. Because I also had guys like that who say, oh, I have kids with my black ex and I never see them. And I want kids with a white woman. Why? If you walked away on here, you're going to walk away on me. I am not different. It's just that oh, I'm you now, six months later, one year later. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So please be very careful, first of all, what you believe. And second, what you say to other people, because it really makes you look terrible.